I think we gotta take a look. We gotta take a look at the uh, solving example with uh, with uh, the exponential equation. So here he is what uh, here's what uh, happens. Uh, first, I want I don't want any fractions. That's that's really what I uh, like. What I'm thinking of first. Uh, I don't want any fractions like this. I want everything into into the top. Is really what I'm what I'm looking for. So if I solve this, I'm gonna match bases. Now remember, a base like if I have a to the m, this is the base. That's the exponent. And when I match bases, I want them to be the same number. That's that's what matching means. I want them to be the same number. In this case, that's what matching means. So, uh, okay. Um, first thing I see is there's a fraction here, and I don't really want that. But I also have a negative. I have a negative. So if I have a negative, I can uh, uh, flip this over, and then it becomes positive. 36 over 1, but that's just 36. And then now this becomes a positive 3p, right? Because if we had, let me just go over the rule again. If I had like 1 8th to the negative 2, well, that changes, since this is negative, that changes to 8 over 1 to a positive 2, which is just 64. So uh, there's, there's a little example for you there. Uh, so now I have, okay, great. And then, hmm... 2, 1, 6 to the negative 2p. Now some people think like, wait, you have a negative, why don't you flip it over? It's going to be easier if I don't flip it over. I Because eventually I'm going to set these um, exponents equal to each other. So my goal, my first goal is to uh, have no fractions. So there we go, have no fractions. If I if I can manage, then then that's what I'll do. So right now I don't have any fractions. And then I'm going to... Uh, well, I know that this, this is just a guess. This is, this is something that I notice. I, I can actually write this as 6 squared. Because 6 squared is 32. No, 36. 36. And then 3p. So I changed that one. This, and now I'm wondering, can I do 6 to the, maybe not squared, but 6... I don't know, I'm pulling out my calculator right now. Now I'm just going to do 6 to the 3rd. Let's see what that is. 6 times 6 times 6. Uh, I did it wrong. 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. 6 to the 3rd. 6 to the 3rd. And then on the outside, the negative 2p. Great. Now, another review. If I have a to the m n, that's a to the m times n. So I have a power of powers. I multiply the exponents. So that's what I'm going to do in bo on both sides here. Uh, that would be 6 and then 3 times negative 2. That's negative 6p equals and 2 times 3p. That's 6 and then 6p. Okay. So now like I've achieved the matching bases. And... Once you have the bases matched, you can set the exponents equal. If those are equal, and I'm saying that the whole equation is true, then the exponents have to be equal. You can't have like 6 to the 3 equals 6 to the 4, because those are different. So the exponents have to be equal. Once you get the bases the same, the exponents must be equal. So I'm going to take this, negative 6p equals 6p. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute. I can divide it and I get negative 1 equals 1, but that's that's wrong. Uh, or do you get 1 equals negative 1? But here's, here's what you do. Uh, add 6p over. I'm adding it over. This is just to show you from the steps. Really, you plug in 0. 0 is the only thing that works. p equals 0. But I'm showing you steps for that uh, in case you wanted to see them. So 0 equals 12p divide by 12. And so that goes away, and p equals 0, like we said before. 0 is the only thing that works for that one. And there you go. That's the first example. And I'm going to do more, but the goal is to match bases and then set the exponents equal to each other. That's really it. <laughs> Goodbye.